Hello again, and welcome to another WatermanAtWork.com kayak fishing video. With the unfortunate and sudden decline of the salmon and steelhead, we are going to look at the glory days of kayak fishing for salmon on the Columbia River, because those days are most likely never coming back. The Columbia River Gorge is a special place. Paddle a kayak on the same waters as Lewis and Clark, and fish for salmon in a human-powered vessel is a unique experience different from today's modernized and mechanized way of fishing. Every year the salmon return from their ocean home to spawn in the tributaries of the Columbia River. When the salmon return, the fishermen are waiting. Tribal fishermen who have been fishing here for centuries, and the more recent and growing numbers of fishermen who live in the rapidly expanding Pacific Northwest. The salmon and steelhead that migrate up the Columbia River are big fish. The Chinook, or king salmon, is the biggest. They can get to be over 50 pounds, but a 30 pound salmon would be the fish of a lifetime. The coho, or silver salmon, can reach over 20 pounds. Any silver over 10 pounds would be a trophy. Lightning fast runs like this usually means it's a steelhead. Steelhead are the ocean-going branch of the coastal rainbow trout and can grow to over 30 pounds. The first few weeks of the salmon fishing season are pretty intense. No matter where you go fishing, you won't be alone. Everything that will float is out there and some fishermen get pretty aggressive. Throw in a few guide boats with outriggers that cover the entire river, and that's what this river runs through. This is a nice coho salmon. It's barely hooked. I checked the adipose fin to see if it's a native fish. Only going to get one shot with the landing net. A beautiful fall day and a nice fish on the line. It's a big native coho salmon. Unhook the barbless hook and release unharmed. The current time is 4.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for today. Mostly cloudy. Highs 54 to 59. West wind 10 to 15 miles an hour with higher gusts. Salmon fishing means getting up long before the crack of dawn. Drive down to the river and hump the 70-pound kayak and all the fishing gear down the cliff in the dark. One last check to make sure everything's ready to go, and it's out on the dark Columbia River. There is no night fishing. The day begins one hour before dawn. That's when the lines go in the water and the action starts. This is a small Chinook salmon. Another fish on as the early morning sun rises in the east. It's a big steelhead. Barely fits in the net. It's a nice coho salmon caught while trolling a wiggle wall.
good day to forget the landing now. The steelhead is giving my $20 fishing rig all it can handle. The drag on this fishing reel is cooked. Once again, working without a net. A nice day for trolling around the Columbia River pays off. Chinook salmon. I check to see if it's a native fish. Much easier with the net. A big jump and long run for this nice silver salmon. This is a big fish. I'm using lighter than normal fishing gear because a big fish will pull the kayak around instead of breaking anything. Big hatchery coho salmon. The fish gets wrapped up in the line. And the lure gets hooked in the net. Barely got it. Light gear isn't a good idea all the time. This salmon snapped my fishing rod like a toothpick. There's my rod and the fish. A pretty good sized Chinook. That was a little different. A brisk November morning on the Columbia River. Looks like a big coho salmon. If I try to horse it in, I'll wind up with another broken fishing rod. It's a nice one. don't want to lose it. With barbless hooks, it's possible. The lure is caught on the net again. Just fit in the net. A hard-fighting salmon hooked up while trolling. Looks like a hatchery coho. It's not over yet. Coho salmon for dinner. Looks like I used up all my luck with the salmon fishing. Perfect kayak fishing conditions and a fish on the line. It's a coho salmon.
The hooks come out and the net saves the fish. A rare glassy November day on the Columbia. Checking the adipose fin of this nice coho salmon. Not hooked very well, but a clean net job. A sunny September morning with the wind already picking up. It's a hatchery Chinook. The fish is tired out, easy to land. An early October morning with the snow-capped mountains in the distance. Nice silver salmon that turns the kayak into the rising sun. Quick check for the adipose fin. A good start for the day of salmon fishing that ended up being pretty good. Another early morning on the river. Looks like a Chinook salmon. It's not hooked very well. Not the best net job on a nice fish. This is a big fish running along the bottom. Nice fish. A beautiful Chinook salmon. I'm going to release this one. Clear morning with dead glass conditions and a fish on. Kayak fishing conditions for this time of year couldn't be better. Native Chinook Salmon. It's a beautiful fish. I don't want to hurt it. A quick release and this wild salmon is headed back upstream. A cloudy day with a big fish on the line.
The fish turns the kayak completely around. It changes directions and heads down river. This fish is easily pulling my fully loaded kayak. A detour towards the deep part of the river and I get a look at it. It's a big fish. A quick turn and the fish starts towing the kayak down river again. It comes to the surface, then dives to the bottom. I'm heading into the pack of boats and try to turn the kayak. Almost into the pack of boats, I have to turn the kayak. I've cleared the boats and got a little fighting room about a quarter mile from where I started. This is a large coho salmon. No landing net, but the fish wouldn't fit anyway. Grab it by the gills and haul it in. What's going to happen with the salmon and steelhead in the Columbia River? Nobody can say for sure, but at this point, the outlook is not that good. Like the kayak fishing in this video, things turn into history quickly. The only thing you can do is get out there while there's still something left.